Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lisa from Potsy Feather and I'm back today with another 12x12 scrapbook process video for you today. So I'm using this cut file that says Adventure from Paige Taylor Evans. It is gorgeous and I'm gonna use this, gonna be my background paper, the stamp paper. And I use this paper pad to back the cut file. And um, so I did, I did not um, film that because it's just redundant to um, see me do that or watch me do that. So I'm, I'm describing this picture of me when I was in Torn at the, um, where my, my doctor is at the, what's it called, train station. And it was so windy. And it was actually super hot, but it was so windy, so it was super cold. So I snapped this glorious picture of me. And I printed it in black and white, which I hardly do, but I love scrapping with black and white pictures. And I did back it in the, with a blue paper that is just from that paper pad that I also used in a cut file. And then I have a few new um, like pastes and stuff. And this is called Crystal. And I did think that it was like um, not opaque. But it is completely like there's nothing. And even I thought it was, it's a tiny bit shimmery, but it's like close to nothing. It's like really, really, yeah, well, almost not there. So um, I just um, spread that around um, behind where my cut file is going to be, just with a little palette knife and um let that dry and yeah you can you can i mean due to my studio lights um you can see that there is something but you can't really see anything and i think it picks up better here on camera than it actually does in real life so yeah i did um this what i just squirted on there on my little board is just some white gesso and i just use water and water it down so I can do some white splatters and fail miserably <laughs> because it's not wet enough. Okay, there we go. Just make some giant white paint splodges that I'm gonna smear, um, spoiler alert, later on. Like, a lot of them because I didn't let anything dry. I didn't let the crystal paste, whatever that is, dry and I didn't let the paint splatters dry. So that's on me. I'm just not patient enough for that so I just um splattered that around and yeah so there's that and I did let it try for a few seconds um while I was gluing on the foam which I left in for no apparent reason so oh god I really should have edited that out. I'm sorry I always forget to just edit this out but I usually um like to leave in all of my process because I like to watch videos like that too where you can see all of the progress so yeah we're gonna watch me gluing down all of this foam together now but yeah um so what can I tell you about the picture it really it's actually what I told you um I was at the doctor's so my my doctor is I'm chronically sick if you're new to my channel I'm chronically sick I have a few neurological disease diseases I think that's that's the plural and my doctor is in another state so I have to go there every so often and when I go there I go there by train most of the time actually all of the time and it's very windy there like very windy and this day it was really really hot actually this was back in April I think April 24th of 2018 if I remember correctly and um I always know that it's very windy there, so I do take a jacket with me. And it was so windy at the train station. I was like sitting on the platform uh, waiting um, for my train to come. And yeah, it was windy. So I snapped this picture to let my family know I'm on my way back. Or actually a friend sent this to a friend. And I kind of really liked it. So I, <laughs> I decided to make a layout with it. And yes, I do just rip the foam because why not? And I do forget, oh no, do I forget to actually, I don't know why I did it so weird. I kind of, there is no rhyme or reason for why I glue where and what, when. It just doesn't really make sense. And they're a little bit 
more and then we're done. Okay, maybe. Who knows? Oh yeah, I forgot. See, there is no... I, it's weird. I did this in a very uh, random way. Anyways, I'm done now. And this... Yeah, it's not really dry. I smear it so often. It's not even funny. And here um, I waited um, because I did see that it was so wet. So I did go and clean my brush. This took like a minute or two. So it had some more time to dry. And now I'm... this takes very long to put on glue on so many places. So it had another few seconds to dry. But it's still, I smeared it a lot. But that's okay. I don't go for perfection because, yeah, no, that's just not me. So, and also realizing that it's not where it's supposed to be, see? Already white, and again. <laughs> but yeah. There. I just, yeah, it. I just mirror it constantly. And, um... I do use some more foam because I wanted to put it up on foam. That's, I don't. Sometimes I'm so weird with my things, so I have to fuzz around with that. But I managed to repair it, which is good. Okay. And I did have a really hard time embellishing this layout because. I don't really, I didn't really know what to do and the cut fell is so big I didn't want to make clusters because I already, uh, I also have a um, pattern paper background which, you know, is also busy. Um, these are, by the way, like stamps and it kind of reminded me like in a passport kind of thing. Like when you go um, like overseas or in a different country where you get like a stamp in a passport and it kind of reminded me of that. Not that I did go out of the country. It's just a different state. But still, it's, you know, travel and... So, yeah. I just used my Uniball White Signal Broad pen and <clears throat> um, outlined my paper or my pattern paper. I did think about using the Bloom... Is it Bloom Collection? I don't remember from Simple Stories, but I decided to use these two die cuts from Shimal's Glitter Girl collection and I do check if there are more, but um, I don't end up using any of them other than the Super Cool, so you kind of can say um, Super Cool Adventure is the title which, I mean, it's not super cool, it's my doctor, but still, you know and then I also use this um, girl I really love her, so um, I don't know what I was checking there, but I, I felt like it needed more. So I do um, think about adding something from that sticker sheet, but I don't. I do use some Emoji Love, um, from some stickers from the Emoji Love 12 but 12 cardboard sticker sheet from Simple Stories, just a few... Um, stickers. This is a little speech bubble that I'm gonna put um, above my hat, and then two like of tiny word stickers next to her feet that say "ha" uh, no hashtag "haha" and unique. So that's what I did embellishment wise, and then I really thought. It, I didn't really know what to do, it just, it just, you know, it was, I don't know, I sometimes embellish a lot and this, I thought, was a very minimal embellishment video because the cut file is gigantic. So I decided to call it quits for this layout and yeah, that I, do I add some more glue? No, I just press everything down, but I think... Yeah, I did think a lot about adding some more, but no, I decided not to. And that was my layout for you today. This is a bit of a different one for me. I feel like it's not my usual style, but I still really like it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video too. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!